Welcome to another bike fitness coaching video. Everybody has heard of shorter crank lengths. They are all the rage. So here is a quick video on personal experience. My wife, Sue, how long have you been riding the kicker bike? Well, I started riding the kicker bike about a year and a half ago. Um, so I've been riding Ruby pretty continuously for that time. And what do you like about the kicker bike compared to your a, or a regular bike on a trainer? Um, I haven't had much experience riding um, trainers with a road bike attached to them. Uh, so the kicker bike has pretty much been my training bike since the start. Uh, the features that I think are most spectacular are its adjustability and the ability to uh, change out your virtual um, chain rings and sizes, um, allowing you to, to adjust uh, those to any increases or changes in power that you are able to achieve through training. And you do have a road bike. Uh, what do you have uh, as a road bike and what crank lengths came with it initially? Okay, I have a Trek Silk uh, road bike um, the original crank lengths that came with the bike were 172.5 millimeters. And I'm assuming that's what you started with on the Wahoo kicker bike. Yep, when I set up the kicker bike, my goal at the time was to mirror my road bike so that the experience inside and outside was as close to each other as possible. So since you were riding the kicker bike more, what crank length did you eventually go to? All right, the kicker bike, the crank set that comes with it, uh, the smallest crank length that you can select is 165 millimeters. Um, and I was having a bit of knee problems, uh, especially climbing. Um, so I, uh, at your recommendation, actually tried moving uh, my pedal to the 165 crank. Was it more comfortable? Absolutely. Um, I noticed right away it's only um, seven millimeters so you wouldn't think it would make a difference but it did. Um, if I rode long enough though I still um, could feel some um, knee pain that was more or less centered uh, in the knee so um, I wasn't completely satisfied with 165. The new cranks, I see you're, you're running a new pair of uh, prototype cranks on your kicker bike now. Can you go through what are, what did you then set your crank length to with these new cranks? Okay, the new crank set that we're fortunate enough to, to sort of test a little bit here. Um, it starts, I believe, at 165. Um, but I'm running right, I started, I moved it to 155. So re, it's very recent, within the last week. I tested a 155 crank uh, for a, a climb, and then I uh, was happy with that. Uh, 155 was much better than 165 in terms of power output um, and knee, any mm -hmm. knee pain or discomfort. Um, and then uh, it also had the ability to allow me to test 145. And that's what you see in this video. So 145 millimeter cranks. Um, I was a bit skeptical um, when, before I tried them, um, but I found that 145, much to my surprise, continued to provide me with the ability to produce more power um, but with the 145s, any knee discomfort was pretty minimal. And as a physical therapist would say, the reason you have more power is your muscles are actually working in a more efficient, basically in their mid-range. Uh, we are working on a realistic crank set solution for the Wahoo Kicker Bike. So basically stay tuned and we will let you know what uh, when we're going to be coming out with this new crank set 
We're going to be offering uh, 155, 145, 135. So there will be different options based in the one crank arm. Uh, and maybe in the future, we will come with separate crank arms in different lengths. But uh, for now, we're going to help you with increasing power efficiency and decreasing knee pain. Stay tuned.